Hi, it's Dia. Today we're going to take this image from my up and coming book, Everyday Magic, and I'm going to color the blueberry using two blue colors, one from Arteza and one from Prismacolor, and a, and a white and a black pencil. So unlike last time where I used every red that I owned, I'm just going to use two blues. And today we're going to talk about blue, that color that can lift us through the clouds to a sunny blue heaven or sink us below the sea to a dark and murky world of Davy Jones Locker. Where sirens sing their hypnotic songs and wrap us in their aqua hair and never let us surface again. Any way you like it, light and bright or dark and mysterious, Blue is a favorite color of many. In fact, it is said that it's the favorite color of over half the population of American adults. Many of us love it, but it's actually very rare in nature. Blueberries, blue corn, and blue potatoes, and if you kind of stretch it, blackberries are the only blue foods that I can think of in nature, natural ones anyway. Blue flowers aren't very common either. According to the Department of Biological Sciences at Florida International University in Miami, less than 10% of the 280,000 species of flowering plants produces blue flowers. We love them and we want them though. So it's common for genetic engineering to be used to produce them. Blue gives us a feeling of calm, security, and peace. It is said that we're more productive in a blue atmosphere. For instance, if the walls are painted blue or if we're surrounded by blue and children may sleep better in a blue room. But too much blue may cause apathy and a lack of interest in life because it's a prevalent color in nature. The sky and the sea are blue. We're drawn to it and we feel safe around it. But we should probably follow mother nature's lead and break up the blue with bits of pink, red, orange, raspberry, or yellow, like she does. Sunsets, wildflowers, roses, fruit, to add energy and vibrancy to our calm. Most consider blue a stable and calming color and feel safe when they're near it. I wonder if that's why most police uniforms are blue. Many find standing on the shore where the waves meet the blue sky, or the peak of a mountain looking out at an endless cloud-studded horizon to be a fulfilling and rejuvenating experience. Yet many directors in Hollywood use blue filters to create a melancholy, cold, and dark feel to a movie or a scene. Blue is one of the three primary colors, and the ocean is blue because water absorbs the red colors in the light spectrum, the color spectrum. Since the red is absorbed, the blue colors are left behind for us to see. If we feel very sad, it's said that we feel blue. If we're only a little sad, do we feel light blue? The third Monday in January has been coined Blue Monday and is supposedly the saddest day of the year. Holiday fun has faded, our bank accounts have been hammered, and we have a long wait until spring returns. Christian Dior, the famous fashion designer, once said that midnight blue is the only color that could ever compete with black. Vincent van Gogh said there is no blue without yellow and without orange. He also said, I never get tired of the blue sky. Henri Matisse said blue enters your soul and red has an effect on your blood pressure. Paul Gauguin said if you see a tree as blue, then make it blue. Lapis lazuli is a semi-precious stone used in ancient Egypt for jewelry and later in the Renaissance, well during the Renaissance, to make ultramarine, which is the most expensive of all pigments. It was used in ancient China to color fine blue and white porcelain. Windows of cathedrals were painted with aquamarine in the Middle Ages. Blue velvet 
is a song originally done in 1959 by the Moonglows, then re-released by Bobby Vinton as a number one hit in 1963. Blue Velvet is also a dark David Lynch thriller released in 1986 and one of the weirdest movies I have ever seen. Blue, you are mysterious for sure. If blue is your favorite color, you may be reliable, trustworthy, and loyal. You might take a while to trust others though and want others to trust you. You seek peace and a balanced life and usually do not act impulsively. You're probably even tempered and when you're angry, you may get distant and cool or moody rather than lashing out or confronting someone. You may prefer the company of your smaller group of close friends to a larger gathering of acquaintances. Either way, you're a great friend. You may prefer to get some fresh air and take a walk rather than meditate to relax. Sapphire is the birthstone for those born in September. The name is derived from sapphirus, the Greek word for blue. Blue sapphires were holy to the Catholic Church and to the ancient Persians who believed the sky was blue because it was a reflection of sapphires. Kings wore sapphires as jewelry and powerful good luck talismans and to protect them from harm. And most of us know that Prince Charles gave Diana a beautiful sapphire as an engagement ring. The Star of India is another famous sapphire, and at 563 carats, it's huge. Sapphires are also supposedly used to protect against sorcery. So maybe if you have some shady friends, wear a sapphire. Maybe they'll just stop coming around and they won't even know why they don't want to. People with blue eyes are said to be more sensitive to sunlight. They also may be more sensitive to colors and impressions from the world at large. Some people even say that people with blue eyes may be intuitive or a little bit psychic. If you are and you feel like this, I would love to know this. So please tell me in the comments below. So that's all my blue information for the day. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, you give me a thumbs up and possibly even share it and maybe even subscribe. I have a few more minutes left of coloring on this video. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm not gonna cut it shorter. I'm gonna leave it a little quicker than normal, but this way you'll be able to see what's going on. For the, for the rest of the video, it's a lot of going back and forth between the Arteza Blueberry and the Prismacolor um, Indigo Blue. I also go back and forth with the, um, the Arteza White. Uh, I love that white pencil. And for a blueberry, it's actually perfect because blueberries, as you know, have that odd sort of dusty, I don't know if it's a sheen or a covering or just a surface. And the white pencil helped me to achieve that on this, on this image. So I think the color is called white quartz in the Arteza set. Now, right here, I use, I start to use a very sharp black polychromos pencil, Schwarz Black. And not that that part of the blueberry would actually be black, but it sort of gives the impression of being very dark because it's a little bit in the shadow. I wanted it to appear recessed compared to the rest of that top part of the blueberry. And now I'm gonna basically go over the whole thing with the Arteza White. I've done this back and forth two or three times because I want there to be layers and I want it to appear, of course, blue, but 
if you look at the blueberry up close, it's, it's not one shade, it's not one dimension. So this adds to the effect of layers and I can't quite say photorealism because it's, this is just a cute little image, but I wanted it to look realistic. And by the way, I normally probably wouldn't color a blueberry with just two pencils, but I wanted to kind of do the opposite of the red video. So two it was. I started out thinking I was only going to do one, but I might be able to do that with paint, but I don't think, I didn't think that the, that the colored pencils were doing it justice. So I added the indigo blue from Prismacolor, and then I thought the black and the white were going to be just fun additions also. So for the rest of this blueberry, which is basically done, I'm going back and forth and I'm adding some shadows under her arms to make it look a little 3D. Here I'm using a very sharp pencil and adding some detail around the top so it looks separate from the background. Once again, going back to the white quartz and blending. And just basically fussing around. So once again, thank you for joining me for this color series. And I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe to me. And once again, I'm glad that you're all here and more videos to come. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye.